my day was really stressful. I'm currently planning this wedding for a word couple. The woman wants top-notch wedding, but I don't think her husband can afford it. I don't know what's wrong with women of these days. I think she's just trying to impress her rich friends. They are really stressing me out. So how are you doing? I'm not happy at all. I think Stanley is still cheating on me. Again? I thought you guys were over that phase. I thought so too, not until he started keeping late nights again and sneaking around to answer some phone calls. I think he's still seeing that he's side chick. Babe, I don't know why you don't want to deal with that side chick of his. Deal with her so she can leave your husband alone. I don't think that's a good idea. Besides, I don't think she's the only one Stanley is seeing. I think he might be seeing other girls as well. So how many girls do I want to deal with? I'm just tired of the whole thing. Babe, just relax, okay? Don't think too much. I'll talk to you later concerning this. I need to rest now. I'll come see you tomorrow, okay? All right, dear. Good night. Guy, what's up? Boss, I'm after you now, you all. Oga, no they why me, Jari. So how did the meeting with Chief Austin go? It went well. I'm hoping that the contract will be awarded to our company. He was really impressed with our plan. He said it's the best he has seen so far. Okay, that's good news for now. So it's this the new you know now? Yes, this is Sandra. She's my latest. I see. So Miss Sandra, do you know that my friend is married? Or are you among those babes that are into married men? I beg your pardon? MD. What did they do you now? Why you won't post an inside my gary? I am so sorry about that, love. Please, let's leave here. Don't mind my friend. Just ignore him. He doesn't have sense. He black say you demand. So, I mean, no get sense, Abby. I know get your time this night. I am leaving you here. Since you don't want to have sense, good night. I am going to have some fun alone with my babe. Morning, love. How are you doing? You came in very late last night. I was up waiting for you till past midnight. I am sorry, love. It was work. What work can possibly keep you up until that time? For goodness sake, Stanley, you are the CEO of your company. You can leave whenever you want. I am sorry, love. There is this contract that was just awarded to my company and I had to go survey the site yesterday. That's what took my time. I had to be there myself. Okay. So when are we going to spend time together alone? Sweethearts, can we talk about this later? I am not in the mood for this discussion right now. I just want to hit and head straight for work. We will talk when I come back, okay? Stanley, you keep doing this and I am sick and tired of it already. You rarely make out time for me, but you can make out time for your side chicks, right? Oh, please don't start this again. We are going to have this conversation here and now before you go anywhere. Excuse me. I have to take this. And where do you think you are going? Sweetheart, please, I have to take this call. And why can't you take this call right in front of me? Why must you leave my presence to answer a phone call if you know you are not hiding something? I don't have time for this nonsense. Please, I have to go if you don't mind. Can you get out of my way? And if I don't? Don't push me, Sylvia. Don't push me. I said we will talk later. I have to go now. Get out of my way. I'm not going anywhere. Do your worst. You must pick that phone call in my presence. You want me to excuse you so that you can go talk with your side chicks, right? Stanley! Did you just push me? Stanley! Stanley! Guy, what's up? How are you day? My life is great, man. I am living my best life. You are living your best life by piping those girls, right? I say. Hey, stop it right there. Don't even go there. And don't think I forgot the nonsense you did yesterday at the bar. You almost chased away my girl. Do you know what it took me to get that girl? Money. That's what it took you. 
and you have lots of it. So stop acting like you went through some sort of stress to get her. What about Amaka? I am done with her. You know, I don't keep them for too long. No, be changing them like cloth. Just remember your wife and how she would feel if she finds out. Remember what happened the last time. Oh, don't worry about my wife. She won't find out. I will be very discreet about it. Let's go back to business. When is the meeting with our new client holding? 2 p.m. this afternoon. That is good. Please make sure you get everything ready. We need to create a very good impression. Of course. Trust your managing director. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so MD my manager. That's me. Please call Sophia, my secretary, for me on your way to your office. All right. Good morning, sir. Yes, yeah, Sophia. How are you doing? I'm great, sir. Where are the reports for the last meeting? Here yeah, it is, sir. All right, I want you to get ready because we'll be having a meeting with our new clients by 2 p.m. Okay, sir. Um, Sophia. Sir. Please come. Is anything the matter, sir? I just wanted to ask if you have considered my proposal. What proposal, sir? Come on, stop acting like you don't know what I am talking about. I have money. I will give you whatever you want. This is my company and I can promote you or even triple your salary. Just name your price. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir, because I'm not thinking about your proposal, not to talk of accepting it. I'm engaged to be married, and I will never cheat on my man. You can fire me if you want, but I'll not succumb to your request. Are you for real? Yes, sir. Hmm, it's okay. You can go. I cannot fire you for rejecting me, and I cannot force you either. It's your choice, but I am available anytime you change your mind. Thanks for your understanding, sir, but I can assure you that I won't change my mind. If you say so. I'll be in my office, sir.